Good evening and welcome back. It is Kevin Cowboy here with a new castle. Got the new fresh threads on, boys and girls. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this and teach you all how to enhance your farming ability. So, here we have a Stronghold City 8. We also have next to it a City 37, City 8, and a City 10. So, and uh, another City 7. Yeah, I think that's all I've got for us here. Oh, I've got a couple more level 7s. So, you'll notice pretty low but levels, but a bunch of them. Um, so, basically I want to do a little guide on, you know, how to make your farms as good as they could possibly be, what to focus on, and how to maximize your resources per day. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So first off the bat, one of my biggest stressors is that you need to have a level 10 castle. So this farm, as well as all the other farms except for like one, still need some work. We need to get this farm up to level 10 because at that point I would unlock iron. So you'll notice here I don't have enough wood. So basically um, a lot of your early on development is going to require a whole lot of wood to keep enhancing. Basically, these buildings should all be food and wood. Um, yeah, I mean, once you get to level 10, then you can definitely change it, and I would probably recommend that you start going for iron as well as food and build up your account. So, first off the bat, get level 10. Pretty self-explanatory. Just go through the hoops. You train some troops. Um, once you, when you're at that low level, you really only you want to focus on getting all of the troop types because you will need to build up your armies. But another big thing that you want to build up is T1 artillery. T1 artillery would be, is going to be your best gatherer. Another thing you want to focus on is your, gar, um, your airship a little bit. I mean, if you have the time to develop into it, I would highly recommend that you start going for this troop load, um, as well as some of your gathering speed abilities. But this kind of farm setup is more of more accounts and a lot less effort. So what this is going to be is build up like five accounts, all to the same level, all to the same specs, and basically from there, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make the account ready to go. So another thing that we want to focus on is going to be combat uh, research. And this is because we want to unlock more uh, march, uh, marches. So I accidentally clicked a couple extra buns more than I need to. And now the game is lagging out. So this is not good. This is not at all what I wanted. So let's go ahead and go back into combat. Alright, so if you'll see here, we have March Slots. Requires Academy Level 6 and requires all these other things. It's really cheap, really easy to do. I highly recommend that you get that. And you could basically work your way up to two marches. Um, yeah, you'll have two marches at first once you get that. And then another thing that you'll be able to get is you're going to be able to go March Slots 2. But you will, it will require you to have a level 12 academy, which requires a level 12 town hall. That's a 33% increase in your total resources gained um, per day. So I would highly recommend that you go ahead and strive and work towards that once you establish at le city level 10. But, you know, don't really just get to city level 10 and then, you know think that you're okay like there's still more things that you could do you could always continue upgrading but level 10 is a great place to be because that's when you will unlock the ability to get into the iron gathering and production so what you want to focus your farms on is going to be resource accumulation now you basically have two weeks depending on your kingdom in order to gain as many resources as possible so div divvy it up Decide how many um, how important food is, food growth, and collection is for yourself. 
determine, okay, does my alliance have like a food bank where we all send all of our wasted food away there and no one in the kingdom is allowed to attack it? That's what my kingdom does. So every account, every alliance has a, an account. You send food to it. The more people that you have in your alliance and the more um, you request from them daily, the more benefit you gain from it. So I highly recommend that everyone uses that to the fullest, the, you know, the most of their ability. And, um, you know, you, you want to, you know, make your account as nice as possible. So what we're going to need to do is focus on what are the best ways of increasing our resources. So definitely train the T1s. T1s and then once you have enough troops, start working on the T1 artillery because that will maximize your ability to grow. Work on some research for uh, resource gathering speed as well as troop load as well as on your airship. Um, more so than that, you can start work getting into your creation. So once you get to a low level, um, 10, for your airship, you can get the creation and then you can go to the creation uh, trader and trade in all your points per day for more resources. Most likely use it for food, and you could get food bags and allow you yourself to put more focus of more farms onto iron. Basically, get more iron, and then it'll allow your main and your major farms, like if you have a friend who quit and you got their account and they're able to get a lot of silver a day because they have five marches a day because um, they have an active VIP, eight or higher, then you could put that on silver as well as your main, and then you have two large accounts working on the silver as you work on the iron. Then when it comes to silver, ask for help. When it comes to food, hopefully you have enough of your farms because you're building up every single day. Um, also, another big thing to work on is if you can, put the farms in your uh, main alliance with you and run barbarian rallies with them all the time. So let's say you have five farms, and each one of them has three marches because you're at that town hall 12 with that extra march. Go ahead and have two, two marches of them out farming and then have the third march one at a time join your barbarian rallies. You'll get 400, um, you'll get all the food on your main and your farm will also get a lot of food as well as the bonus chests. That's a great way to enhance your growth. And don't forget to look out for the ability to buy stamina in the Merchant Fair, They um, like the Marketplace. I'll show that to you here. Marketplace is a great market stall, I should say. Great place to get a bunch of resources and other gold items that you can get on discounts. Um, I don't want to make this video too long. However, basically what we could do for you is enhance your growth, enhance how much food you're getting per day through other, you know, non-gathering types, and then enhance your growth of the more expensive materials like iron and silver by focusing your farms on iron and focusing your mains on silver. And you should be able to enhance your growth furthermore through that method. Um, another thing that you might want to look at is possibly getting some construction gear for your farms if you don't mind spending like five dollars each farm and getting like the purple gear and that will enhance and increase your ability to get to that you know city level 12 very very quickly and perhaps for free immediately so i highly recommend that you focus your efforts this way and then perhaps you know start working on some resource gathering speeds and further increase their level once they hit city level 15 then you're able to get them start working on silver. And it just makes your life and your ability to grow so much faster. Um, if anyone has any questions regarding this video, or if you guys want to see a little part two to this video, get a little more in depth, please don't hesitate to ask. Put a video in, um, a comment in the comments and let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any ideas yourself of farm growth, let me know. I don't do farms. I don't really use farms. That's why all my farms are such low levels. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on farms. Um, don't forget to go ahead and join 
the giveaway. There's a couple days left to get in, involved, and it's just free money. So go take a look at that link in the video, in the, yeah, link in the bio of the video, as well as perhaps reaching out to me if you want an account guide and review. This is Cam Cowboy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.